your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the newly added Forged in Fire challenge set on Ambrose Island. And what we have to do here is light all four of the braziers whilst disguised as a metal worker. And for this, we will unlock the burial dagger, which is the dagger from Janus's funeral which I believe I've already unlocked in the past, but I can't be certain. So for this challenge today, we will be starting as the metal worker, and the only item we'll be bringing with us will be a silenced pistol, and we will be killing indiscriminately as we go. So, right from the start and off the bat, uh, it is not absolutely necessary that we use a torch for this, so we will be igniting the braziers using bullets. So our first brazier is just up at the ruins here, and we are going to start off a little bit sneaky as we don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. So our first brazier is just at the far end there, and we're just going to plant a couple of shots at it and the sparks should set the brazier off. It will also set off a couple of the guards so we will sneak our way back out and we're going to continue across the stone bridge up the stairs and then across the rope bridge at the top here where we will find the botanist or the biochemist who will, if we need to, supply us with some poisons. We're going to make our way across the bridge here and we will encounter on the far side just past the bushes on our right our next brazier. Now there is a couple of patrolling guards, one on the bridge who we've just passed and this gentleman right here as well and we're going to have to eliminate this gentleman but for the time being uh, we're going to let him carry on and once he is safely out of earshot we can then pull out our silence pistol, light the second brazier, there we go and we can then sneak our way past the guard and the camera here and at this point uh, we're going to throw caution to the wind and we're going to just eliminate this guy to get rid of him we're going to make our way up into the ruins and over the balcony to our left and drop down. Now here we're going to start encountering some resistance as we need to make our way into the cave system. Uh, there are a number of guards here. Two will be patrolling and the gentleman you can see there will be stationary. So we'll get rid of him first of all. That has alerted the two patrolling guards, so they're going to start running around like headless chickens, looking for whoever just shot their friend. They're going to make their way over here, which is perfect for us. So we're just going to quickly reload, and they will have their backs to us to a certain extent, and we can eliminate both of them very quickly and easily and make our way down into the tunnels area where the satellite uh, surveillance link is. Now we need to make our way across this area. Uh, the easiest way really would be to sneak and time it, uh, but we're not doing that today. Uh, a silent assassin rating is not required. We do not even need to finish the level. And it turns out we don't actually need to eliminate all four of the braziers. As once we ignite the third brazier, oops, someone got a shot off, that's going to cause some problems. Uh, the challenge will pop for some reason, don't know why. I don't know if that's just an oversight from IO, uh, but we'll take it nevertheless. So we have managed to attract a bit of attention and my shots are falling rather wide but we have managed to eliminate everybody so far. 
So there should only be a couple more guards left down in the lower level. This gentleman is asking for trouble and we just give it to him. So bodies are now starting to be found which will eventually pull more people into the area. There's another one. That leaves just one more gentleman down here. And no, nope, we've managed to not get him. Uh, he is currently behind something, so we can't get a shot off. Uh, let's go and have a closer look. Uh, once we stop getting... Oh, hello! No, I will not stop. You stop. So, that leaves just this one guard here running around in a panic. He's accidentally isolated himself in a tunnel, which will not end well for him. And we can then move on to our third brazier, which is right here. Uh, we are running a bit short on ammunition, so uh, we don't actually need to get rid of this guy, but we're on a roll, so uh, he should have learned to swim, really. That, he could have survived that. And we managed to collect up some more ammunition. So, third brazier now, no, not lit. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. And as you can see, the challenge has popped. Although we do still have one more brazier to go. And for the purposes of the video, we will continue on to that final brazier. Uh, we need to make our way out of these tunnels. And at this point, things will go slightly awry for me as we will be entering into the forest area. And I get very easily lost in this area and turned around. Uh, as we will demonstrate momentarily. So, no one outside here is suspicious, so we're just going to hide our gun away. We're going to make our way into the forest area, and we're basically heading for the start of the mission, the default starting location. Uh, it's around here somewhere, I know it is. No, it's definitely not this way. A couple of guards there, we don't want to alert them. So let's go back through here. I think I was going the right way the first time. I should have trusted my instincts. Ah, here we are. And just where the young lady and Monkey Island reference is, we find our fourth and final brazier. So we're just going to empty the remainder of our clip into that one. And that will get us the challenge and the burial dagger. So just before I leave you, I'd like to remind everybody that memberships are now available where you can get uh, a few little perks and early access to some of the videos that I post. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.